Hey guys, what's up? This is Ari in Beijing, um, affectionately known by my Chinese listener base as Xiaoma. Um, today I want to talk to you about a topic that's really near and dear to my heart. Um, it's listening, and why listening is so incredibly important in second language acquisition. Um, this is actually the second time I'm doing the same video. The first one um, I uploaded before realizing that my video editor had somehow lost like the second half of my video. Um, so hopefully this time will be even better. Um, so. Basically, uh, you know, I came across a couple studies that I think really underscore the importance of listening to a second language for learning it. It's my personal opinion, and I think this is backed up by a lot of evidence, that listening, even when you're not actively listening, is maybe the most important and critical skill um, for acquiring a second language, right? So, um, you know, before, before we dive into the studies, um, uh, if you haven't seen my last video, maybe go back and watch that because um, in that video I talk a lot about what I'm doing this month, which is a no English uh, fast. You know, basically I'm not consuming any English media for the entire month and just basically listening to Chinese um, all the time. Um, so I think this this is kind of provides a little bit of evidence to support um, why I'm doing what I'm doing, right? So um, so basically the studies that I that I kind of came across, um, one of them. Uh, you know, it's really fascinating. Basically, um, you know, you take two groups of people learning language. Um, one of them, they're and they're learning, they're doing, they're trying to do a task to distinguish between the sounds of a new language that, that they're learning, right? Um, so one of these groups is just focused on the task, doing nothing but trying to distinguish between those two sounds. The other group is doing the same thing, but they're not doing it as focused. They're they're taking you know they're taking breaks or they're just listening in the background while working. On a task that's distracting them from actively paying attention to, um, to you know, the sounds, right? Um, and so the researchers just basically studied, you know, which which group is able to learn the language faster, right? Or, or distinguish distinguish between the new sounds more quickly. And the incredible result, you would think that, well, of course, the group that's spending their time actively learning the language, they're going to be learning it better, right? You know, that's actively trying to p discriminate between the two different sounds they're going to learn the sounds faster, right? But no, the incredible result here is that actually both groups um, perform equally well and are equally able to learn the new sounds of the language. Um, so what this study shows is that, um, you know, surprisingly, what you listen in the background, you know, even on this task, is equally as powerful as listening to the two things actively, right? And remember, these are people who are... They're, they're listening to these sounds and, and deliberately being distracted doing something else. So even listening to the sounds of a new language in the background can help you absorb the sounds of the new language. And um, I think it's no small extrapolation to believe that that same applies to grammar and the patterns and the phraseology of the language, right? Listening in the background, even if you're not actively listening, can really help you to absorb the... Uh, the new language, right? And so, you know, um, in economics, it's, there's a there's a phrase called no free lunch, right? Um, and this study actually shows that, well, with language learning, there, there there is a free lunch, right? You can, just by listening in the background, you can really absorb the, 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 the everything about um, a language. Um, the second study uh, involves a group of people, a group of Spanish speakers learning the Basque language. Um, and what they're doing um, is they are, you know, there's two groups of people. One, one is learning the new sounds of the language while pronouncing them. The other group is not actually pronouncing them. Um, and here, too, the group that is not actively pronouncing the sounds, actually, I forget whether they did better or the same as the group that was pronouncing, actually pronouncing the sounds, but in this case, too, just listening to the sounds was enough and more than enough to get the group to be able to pronounce them, Right? So this just further underscores the point that merely listening to a, a, a new the language that you're studying um, helps greatly in acquiring it, right? The brain is this magical, incredible piece of software um, that is able to decode the sounds of the language in the background, right? That's the most amazing part of this. And actually, if you think about it, it's really not even that far-fetched. Because if you're a kid, right, if you're a little two-year-old, you know, that first time you open your mouth and you say your first word, baby's first word, that's not coming from nowhere, right? You've spent those previous two years acquiring the sounds of that language. Slowly but surely, you've been listening to your mom or your dad, all your relatives speak in that language for years before opening your mouth, 
right? So the reality is that it's not coming from nowhere. And in, in, in the case of the baby too, the baby's brain is slowly processing, um, slowly processing the sounds and the words and the phrasing of the new language um, to really build up the grammar in a very natural way. And some of you might say, well, that's kind of nonsense. A baby, you know, babies have some magic language plasticity stuff that lets them, uh, you know, learn a language magically. I say that's nonsense because there's tons of studies indicating, too, that adults have this self-same ability. Now, maybe there's something where with accents, like you're, you're slightly less good than a baby, but like the, the, the fact of the matter is that adults have this, and these studies prove it, that the adults have the same ability to, in the background, learn, um, you know, new languages, right? And, and that's really, I think, a pretty incredible finding. So um, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you find this content interesting. Um, it really means a lot to me. Um, and, uh, you know, definitely leave a comment on what you thought of this video. And if you want me to do any more, you know, videos on a particular topic going forward, please, please, please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, looking forward to hearing from you. And um, again, please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for next week. See you soon.